When it comes to budgets, budgets can be very subjective. So for some, $1,000 might be a lot, $100 might be a lot. For others, $10,000 might be a lot. So once you've nailed down your budget, it makes it a lot easier to know where you're going with your style choices. Creating a classic wardrobe, stylish wardrobe, on a budget is a lot easier than you might think. The first tip is to get rid of all of those old clothes. When I say old, I mean pieces that you've had in your wardrobe for 15 years. Now, you might be saying to me, but what about that Burberry coat or that Chanel handbag? Now, if you've got pieces like that, then of course, these are built to last. But a majority of us do not have those pieces. And I'm talking about the old things that you've had that might well be stained, and that are old, and that the patterns are just outdated. Get rid of them, you don't need them. You can donate those. Somebody will take them off your hands. Even consider selling them, because that can actually bring more money into your budget. Buy key pieces in neutral tones. So your trousers, your skirts, your blazers, your jackets, in tones such as whites, blacks, burgundies, greys, browns you get the idea because nobody's going to notice if you wear a pair of black trousers on repeat and wear striking tops like i've got on today it really helps revive your wardrobe and also those key pieces will last you for so many different seasons because they're neutral they're not going to go out of fashion making sure you are well groomed now you might think what's that got to do with a style on a budget well looking well groomed can make you look more stylish getting a manicure or pedicure is not necessary you can just keep your nails filed and polished and to me, that really helps, and it's not just about me, it really helps you look groomed. Having clean hair, drinking lots of water, and getting a good night's sleep can all help to give you a fresh appearance, making you look more stylish because you looked well groomed. Shop more versatile. And what I mean by that is that when you're shopping, look for clothing that you can wear for multiple occasions. So for instance, if you're going out for a Sunday brunch, buy a top that's gonna work for Sunday brunch but that you can also wear in the office on Monday morning. It will save you a fortune because you're buying half as much as you would do normally. By using visual boards like Pinterest you can actually map out what you're looking for visually because 65% of us are visual learners. So if you have an idea of what you're looking for and how to create that look it means that when you see those key pieces you know what you're buying and you're not just buying a random piece and thinking I'm not sure how this is going to work with the other collection of the other clothing I have in my wardrobe. Accessorizing, one of my favorites. Accessorizing is one of the easiest ways to change up an outfit. And the accessories do not have to be expensive. They can be costume jewelry, it can be a scarf. It doesn't matter how old these things are. By throwing on a necklace or a scarf, it changes the look up and it changes the style of the clothing. And it also makes you look more put together, which makes you look more stylish. You need to really pay attention to your shape because what you want to do is buy clothes that really flatter your shape. Now there is nothing worse than buying a pair of trousers that are too long or too short, a top that is too short and too narrow in the shoulders, that is just cut incorrectly. It doesn't matter how much it costs you, it's about getting the right cut for your body because if you get the cut wrong, then it makes the clothes look cheap and that will unfortunately make you look cheap. And we don't want that. We want you to look stylish and elegant on a budget. You need to look at the big picture. So before you buy anything new, take a look in your wardrobe, because what we tend to do is we veer towards colors and styles that we already have because we know they work and we like them. So if you open your wardrobe, is there a ton of navy, but there's no purple? If that's the case, maybe you want to introduce some more purple into your wardrobe. And that can be a good way of introducing different colors and different styles, because there's no point in having all of the same thing in all the same color, because that's just a waste of your budget. If you're looking at the catwalk and you're like, oh, I would love to own this and it looks fantastic, but it's gonna cost a fortune. Well, think again, because a lot of these big box retailers and websites will actually tailor their collections to mimic and almost 
copy what you see on the runways. So it doesn't have to cost you a fortune, but I would say that you want to steer clear of whatever is on the runways because that tends to be very high fashion. And if you're trying to look stylish on a budget, you want to look for things that are classic and timeless and elegant. And if you're wanting to bring in a few pieces of color, then that's a great way to do it. But we're trying to reduce how much we spend. So classic pieces is always going to be the way forward. His examples of those would be leather jackets or pleather jackets, denim jackets, jeans, classic boots. These are all classics that you can wear season after season that will never really date. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.